Haha. Uh -huh. Steve, did you know that you're a zero? Oh, I picked it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was done on purpose, I see. Yeah, when I signed up, there was only like 16 people signed up. I picked the number. You're silly. <laughs> zero, this guy. What's up everyone? So, today we are doing an autocross event with the Mini. I uh, had to borrow a helmet because they have different regulations. Okay, I'm getting ready to go. Okay, I definitely wanted one of you guys to jump in with me at some point. Hell yeah, bro. So, I don't know if no heat in the tires is the time to... Oh yeah, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so it's all I got with fundamentals first, right? Yeah. Fundamentals don't change. Nobody's nobody's fastest run is ever the first run, except for me one time in seven years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just once, my first run was fastest raw time of the day, top packs, and nobody could beat it for the rest of the day, including myself. That's awesome. <laughs> No, I'll run a bunch of times. Okay. Four uh, times this morning. Yeah, four times, and then I think we go to lunch, and then I'll run again after lunch. Well, it's a sport. It's actually, it holds the gear really well. Okay, it doesn't automatically upshift? Uh, no, it holds onto the gear for a really long time. Okay, um, good. So So that's, that's probably going to what you're wanting to do. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Because all we're going to do is when you start, you're going to go from first gear to second gear, and you're going to leave it there for the rest of the time. There's going to be no more upshifts or downshifts. And, and so what you're going to do is you're going to pull up and the flag guy is going to tell you to stop. The minute he waves his flag, you stop. Because the earlier you get, the more time you're going to save. Okay. You want as much distance between where you stop and where the time clock starts. Right. Because you'll get a little bit higher speed as yeah. you go through that. But other than that, the biggest thing is just to look ahead. You did the course walk this morning, right? Yeah, so I did it with Jeremy. Okay. Um, and do you remember how the course goes? Yeah, <laughs> I remember some of it, not all of it. Okay. Do you want me to yell at you? Sure. While you're driving? And I want to do a boosted launch. So I'm actually, I get a turbo spooling. Yeah, no, you can do that. Get things moving. Yeah, so point your car as straight as you possibly can, right? Okay. There you go. Now, yep, exactly center of the wheel. You see the first cone out there, right? That's your left turn? Yep. Keep your eye on that guy. Yep, so break, turn in, look up. So you gotta be over there. Okay. Yep. Keep going. <laughs> so yeah, right. I missed that first gate. Yep. Now you gotta be looking over there to the exit, right? Keep your eye on where you're going over there. Now it's like, where's the next spot? Oh, yeah, you got there. this cone right here. You're gonna go up and over to the right. Keep your foot in it, keep your foot in it. Get get down on this first cone right here. Left, yep, right. Left, a little bit more steering angle. <laughs> there you go. Now look across, look up over the crest, right? To the right, that's where you're going. Keep your foot in it, keep your foot in it. See you look to the left there. There you go. Yeah, I like it. Make sure you look through. Yep, keep looking to the left. See that cone right there? Now look towards the finish. Right, that's where you gotta go. All right, <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. I can get out of the corner, couldn't get onto the gas yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the biggest thing is where you're at, you look past it. Right. So that way you can plan for it. You notice how you went way wide on some things, right? Yeah. And that's because you gotta be looking. Yeah, just chuck, truck right through here. Zip, zip. It was a great first run. Well, thank you. <laughs> I completely missed that one gate, though. Yeah, that's fine. You won't miss it again. <laughs> well, I make, maybe I will. <laughs> no, I, you'll, you'll remember that one. Yeah, so it's that hard left, and then there's that gate right there. The biggest thing you can do for yourself is just look ahead, look through the turns as you're getting to them, mm -hmm. and the speed will just naturally build on itself because you'll be... Uh, 
you'll be planning and not be reacting. Okay. So be proactive, not reactive. That well, was good. This thing did great. I mean, it held that gear just like you said. Yeah, it does really well. Uh, like I've done a lot of canyon run. I'm really yeah, you didn't move a whole lot of room. <laughs> uh, I've done a lot of canyon runs. So I I have a sport bike, uh, and I used to go out with the sport bike guys on my bike a lot. Yeah. But I got in a really bad wreck on a Harley, actually, not even on a sport bike. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, yeah. Going out with the bike guys in this. Yeah. And it's a ton of fun through a canyon. Right? Yeah, super fun. And then a good time when you come in after the after a run, you know, you're kind of excited, your adrenaline's going. Go ahead and visualize the course. You can even use a steering wheel to kind of picture where you're driving and, and visualize it. The more you can commit the course to memory, a thousand times easier your life right. is going to be. Yeah, for sure. Because you won't be trying to find where to go when you're out there. Yeah. You'll already know, oh, there's that cone. There's yeah, that I know cone. where my there's next few cone. cones are anyway. Yeah. But don't ever stop looking ahead. Okay. Um, but overall, not, not yeah, too bad. freaking great. Yeah. For a first run, first ever, I give that a solid nine and a half. Sweet. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, you might be locked in until oh, I turn it There we go. <laughs> I'll check back with you later. Okay, sounds good. So, question for you. Do you want a passenger next round? Yeah, I'll take a passenger. Okay, let's throw Miguel in here this next round and see if that makes a difference for him on his times. Cool. What do you think? Yeah, Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. <laughs> What's up, Miguel? Dude. How I was just, that? I just went for my first ride along an autocross with my with our buddy Jeremy and that thing was insane. Got my heart pumping for sure. But, dude, if you ever get invited to an autocross event, come. You won't be disappointed. Well, let's see. Jeremy's running a Camaro. Jeremy, you want to tell us a little bit about your car? Sure. I've been racing for five years in autocross and I've been modifying this car a little bit. So far I've done lighter wheels, smaller wheels, wider wheels, uh, updated the brakes to uh, slotted rotors and ceramic pads, uh, put in an ECU tune and a cold air intake and then had a full suspension installed um, that added camber plates on the front, stiffer sway bars, and coilovers front and rear. Um, and it lowered the whole car uh, two and a half inches from stock. And uh, now I have a 305 square on the front and rear. Very nice, very cool. What uh, what lap time did you get this time around? Uh, my first lap time was a 48. And apparently that was really fast. Is that top of your class or yeah. where does it put you in comparison? Uh, I'll have, I need my phone to see the stats. Oh, okay, but, we'll catch but, up with you on that then later. Dude, this is a lot faster pace than I was expecting. Dude, let's, uh, let's scooch out of the road. That Mustang's coming back. I'll put those damn cars to shame in the wheelchair. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, guys, we have Miguel in the Porsche. We got him in. 
You gotta get all strapped in. I don't know why it's not buckling. Hang on. Miguel's gonna go for a ride. There goes Miguel. He's in that Porsche with that driver there. And shortly behind him, here is Steve. There he goes. Let's go catch up with him at the end here and see what kind of time he ran, if we can catch it. That was Miguel, and let's see, Steve should be coming around the corner here in just a second. Looks like he ran a 54.20. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see that on camera here. Oh, it just changed on me, that's too bad. That was the, the next guy behind him's time. That was the yellow Porsche there, coming out of the, the lap. That Steve had a 54, and I missed what the last details were, but we'll go catch up with him and see how he felt about that race. Good luck, Herbie. Oh damn, look at you, you're locked in there. Yeah, he's, he's like stuck. I don't know how I'm gonna get out. Uh, Steve, I got you if you wanna go two hands. It'll probably be easiest to get your butt up onto the bar. I'm gonna try. There you go, there you go. You wanna hold me by my shoulders? Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> there we go. You're almost there. <laughs> You're sweaty. <huh? laughs> <laughs> there you go. I don't want to get his seats dirty, but. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Don't Your sweaty about. ass was on there. I'm sure he's not worried. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. That thing is bad. Yeah, I got, I got your back. That thing is holy crap. Faster than Jeremy's? Oh yeah. What was his time? Did you happen to glance at the I clock? I did it. You... But that thing is just like it's so planted. That thing just slides. Like yeah. There's... Jeremy's. Wow, too. That Excuse thing... my language, guys, but yeah. I, I, this I'll one. Just, I'll just cut audio every time you talk. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just do a honk. Um, the difference between that Porsche and Jeremy's is he's got, of course, racing seats and, well, and, and that, that's a, it, that's it, a race car. Yeah, it, like that thing is a purpose-built track car, and that thing is insane. Holy cow! The seats you're just you're in there. You don't slide anywhere, and you're yeah. just, like you can feel the car slide, but you're just stiff in there. So was being in that car. A lot more comfortable than Jeremy's, where you probably got slapped around a bit. Yeah, I got slapped around. And well, the problem with Jeremy's was the first ride along, I didn't cross my legs. I left them out just so my legs would just. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, I crossed my legs, and it doesn't. It's got bucket seats, so it holds you in. Just perfect, you know. A lot you more comfortable. You have no slide at all. You're just, and when it's got hardness too, so different thing. <laughs> did you did you make acquaintances? Yes. All right. Well, well, actually, so crippled, extra crippled, retarded, and crippled. <laughs> Bionic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Metal, metal he's, ass leg. he's got a lot of a lot of work done inside of him. He had a, a nasty wreck in Provo I Canyon a few years. Titanium connecting rods. Ooh, titanium. Yeah, I'm fancy. <laughs> Sorry, bud. He's got titanium internal. His herbs is different than Steve. Steve's is a uh, four banger turboed, and you've got the supercharged one. I have one. supercharged. And isn't the motor size different too? Isn't Same yours like, uh, like a different well, liter? Mine's a 1.6. Okay. I'm not. I think his might be a 1.6. I can't remember though. I think though. they're a 1.6. I think his is also a 1.6. All right. Uh, do you have anything done to your car then? Uh, performance I'm running, wise? 17% uh, reduction pulley, uh, cold air intake, sprint booster and uh, exhaust mod. Nice. 
You got any other plans coming up for uh, uh head cam? I, I'm shooting for about 250 to the wheel horsepower. Yeah, nice. That's exciting. So, what are you pushing right now as far as horsepower goes? Like 175, 180 maybe. And you said you're aiming for 250? Yeah. Nice. That'll be a good bump. So, good yeah. bump and suspension work? Um, tires, wheels, anything like that? Stock tires, stock wheels. Currently? Currently. Uh, and I'm on an uh, inch and a quarter lowering springs. All right. Will that change at all as you yeah. uh, increase horsepower? Uh, tires, yes. Definitely. Suspension, maybe. Okay. I might go switch it to coilovers. And so, just trying to decide. That works. I actually have pretzels on me. <laughs> a bag of pretzels is yours for a Gatorade, sir. Let's see, we're gonna get Irvy a bag of pretzels. Do, 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 do. I'll trade you a Gatorade for a... Uh. <laughs> we are walking out on the track here today. Steve is my safety guide as he's gonna help me get some good footage of all the other cars that are running. Him and Jeremy and er Herb are not running right now because they... They are working right now. That's right, as you gotta, safety guys. You gotta work the track to run the track. Help keep everyone safe. Individuals like myself who are gonna be capturing some footage but uh, just the GoPro today and we're gonna do what we can here Ooh. 